The Charcot-Marie tooth is one of the most common causes of peripheral neuropathy. Uh, it's mainly explained by genetic forms. Uh, we did a study at Quest Diagnostics looking at 17,000 specimens and found that four genes explain the vast majority, almost 95% of all cases. Those genes include PMP22, MPZ, MFN2, and GJB1. Um, other genes, of course, cause uh, the disease. The molecular mechanisms involved in Charcot-Marie Tooth include uh, myelin defects in myelin structure, axonal transport, and also membrane metabolism. So as we go through the genetics and people are diagnosed more commonly, we'll understand the molecular mechanisms and hopefully lead to treatments. I think there's going to be treatments. So the clinical usefulness of making the genetic diagnosis is going to increase. We call it clinical utility, and it will change treatment and management um, more effectively. Right now, it changes management, and you make a definitive diagnosis and kind of avoid all those other tests that you may do if you don't know what the disorder is. But right now, um, identifying the molecular mechanism should lead to more targeted uh, treatments at the molecular level.